Hey everybody, that's Ralph. And that's Ben. And we're the RV Men. Coming to you from Camping World. In Jackson, Mississippi. Hey everyone, it's been a while. It's been a minute, but hey, we're back with a great walkthrough today for you guys on a Rockwood Geo Pro, a 2022 by the way. Yep, yep. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, it is a 19 FDS. Fold down slide, folks. Fold down slide, you don't yep. say. Yeah, it is a Mustang of many campers. Now, Ralph, we haven't stretched our video muscles in a while, have we? So, no, we haven't. Man, so, yeah, guys, we've been kind of busy. COVID and all. COVID and everything, yes. Um, so, we are definitely glad to be back today and starting to make a few more videos. So, Ralph, you ready to turn it around and start it out? Yes, sir. Let's here we go. go. Like I Hank. said, man, it's been a minute since we've stretched our old muscles out here on these campers, right? So, we always want to make sure we're nice and limber before we start pressing buttons setting campers up things like this so no pulled hammies or ligaments at the campsite right ralph correct ben we don't want that so keep that finger good and loose here because i'm about to hit a button all right so this right here is a power tone jack that's going to be very useful whenever you're unhooking the camper and also hooking the camper up um so easy touch of a button up touch of a button down you have a little handy dandy led light right here to lead the way uh, whenever you're out there camping. Now, this is our new power box we have just got not very long ago, and this thing is something serious, y'all. So, powering up campers is gonna be a lot easier, so easier to make videos, right, Ralph? Yes, sir. All right. Thank so, you, Mark. 
Thanks, Mark. Yes, absolutely. So we have two 20-pound propane bottles right here. Those are easily exchangeable, Walmart, gas stations, kind of just wherever you might be headed. Um, you do have a spot on this Geo Pro, or really all Rockwoods now, because they have solar panels, two batteries. Dose. Dose. For our Spanish-speaking customers. Yes. Press two. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, we do have the nice full front fiberglass front cap here. Nice diamond plate chip guard. And I mean, that thing is solid. I now, know lots now. of these you can feel like you're about to push them in, Ralph, but not this rock wood. Is, is your finger stretch, Ben? Yeah, I, I did it a second why, ago. Why don't you throw that switch right there and show them what it does? Bam, folks. Isn't that cool? Electricity is really fast. It is. Almost like there's a <laughs> limit on how fast things can go in the universe. Speed Physics. of light, sir. Physics. <laughs> All right, so we do have a little storage area here. Now, this bag right here is going to house your... Uh, 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 Grill, uh, not grill, but uh, your little table. Not the, is it the table and everything? Yeah. Anyhow, you'll see on the other side what that holds in there. Since I can't remember the word for Riddle. it right now, um, but it does shut. Got a little lock, and real quick, all of the locks on these, your doors, all pass-throughs, outside showers, everything are key to light, which is very important because lots of these campers have a standard key, and that means everybody at the campsite has really got a key. For your pastor and that's not good nope so obviously magnetic lights is here don't have to worry about holding them our fresh tank right here you do have 30 gallons or 31 gallons to be exact of onboard water storage and a pump that will take this water everywhere in the camp so what's that underneath there ben ralph this is gonna be your pastor storage can you get in here and make your can you see it from there i'm zooming in a little bit zoom on in but yes also this is going to be all the way through. Um, you've got a couch that is also you can access to the middle part of that from the inside. So if it's full, you don't have to empty everything out from both sides. What are you talking about? That, oh, the, is on my hair? Oh, oh, it's a fresh tank drain. Yes, sir. All right, so that right there will drain a fresh tank faster than any half inch or one inch drain even you may have. That is an inch and a quarter. You pull that handle and that water dumps out really quick. So, save you some time whenever you're uh, set or getting ready to leave if you're boondocking. Um, and then also, you've got a spot for your uh, sewer hose right there, which is nice because you definitely need a place to put that. All right, frameless windows, Ralph. So, what does that help us do? Protect our weather stripping from the sun. Right. And it looks cool. And when it rains, you can open them up. Yeah, they and, and out. Yep. Mm -hmm. You don't Absolutely. have to worry about it unless it's sideways rain. Now, this is a slide right here. It's is it now, Ben? Confused. Yes, this is a slide. And that moves in and out on a Schwinn Tech slide system. This awesome. This is a screwdriver. Yes, sir. So, nice quality slide there. All of the, uh, this is a vacuum laminate. Um, and it's also uh, Asdell. So, the Asdell is actually uh, a lot uh, healthier, I guess you could say, as yes, far sir. as the stuff they make it with, and then also it is more water resistant, just a better all around material for making these things with. More storage, Ralph. Lots of storage areas Lots here. Lots of storage. I mean, for a small, I mean, we're a 20 foot camper here. It weighs about 30, 300 pounds. Yes, sir, give or take. Give or take. All right, so this is going to be your 30 amp power cord where you want to plug it up you're at the campground now if you notice everything that you're gonna have to set up when you get to the campground is basically on this back corner where at the campsite is also pretty much where that's going to be located so your sewer hoses will hook here you got your gray handle tank you also have a black handle gray handle is going to be your sinks and showers the black handle is going to be the rest right if that makes sense so, yep the uh, crappy job thank you Ralph. now we do have an outside shower back here um, on this back wall, which is solid. You do not have to worry about anything. I mean, like as far as pushing in or not having a solid wall back here, you got it. Now that's a hot and a cold outside shower. So what do we say? Dirty dogs, dirty feet, and dirty kids. Yep. You can wash them all off before you come in. Should I take them up there and show them the solar panel, Ralph? Sure. All right, I'm gonna do that after I point this out right here, all right? All so right. Ralph, can, can you see that through? The ladder. Okay, so this is going to be where you hook your city water connection up. So if you're at the campground, 
hook your uh, water pressure regulator up here and then your hose to that. Uh -huh. This would be where you want to rise the camper. If you want to get technical, hose here, bucket of antifreeze, turn your pump on, turn your low point drains on, and turn your water pump on on the inside. Folks, we just gave you an instructional right there. Right there. This is how you want to rise your camper and then put some in your P-traps too. Yep. So, and then right here is your black tank flush. So the black handle we were discussing a minute ago, okay? Uh -huh. You want to make sure that that handle is pulled and your sewer hose is hooked up, okay? Drain the black tank and then hook your hose up here. Please, please. If you do it in not that order. It could be bad. It, it's going to be bad. It's not yep. good. Yep. Yep. You're going to have a volcano of excrement <laughs> coming in out. your camper. Right, coming and out of your toilet. nobody likes that. Nope, 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 We've nope. had surveys done. 100%. No bueno. Yeah. I think that's the right word. Yep, yep. Uh, and then there's I'll a backup. The oh. solar panel. All right, yep. I'm going to climb up here, Ralph. While he's climbing, I'm going to point out the backup camera. Uh, and he's stretching. So Absolutely, I'm stretching. It's a full walkable roof, folks. Uh, there cool. is a, a max air vent on top uh, with a max air vent cover. Every uh, option you can about put on a camper from the manufacturer is on this rockwood. Correct. Other than power uh, jacks. Yeah. And uh, they did that for weight, I was told. Bring it here, Ralph. All right, so sorry for the uh, camera situation. Let me get it right here. All right, so, yeah, get my finger out of the way. All right, that is a 190-watt solar panel right here. Um, and you also have a 1,000-watt inverter um, on the inside, and it runs everything 12-volt on the camper. That's the max air vent Ralph was talking about. And uh, as you see, all the seals are nice and good on these things. Said Rockwood takes their time. Uh, that's a 13.5 BTU Coleman AC. It looks really good up here, Ralph. Good. Yeah. Awesome. So for safety reasons, I'm gonna hand Ralph the phone real quick before crawling down. There you are, sir. Hey. Thank you. There we go. And I'm coming down. Safety first. Now. All, all right. right, Ben. All right, Ralph. Here we go. Guess what, Ralph? More storage. More storage. And then also, come here real quick. See this little panel right here? Uh -huh. Behind panel number one, we have the water filtration. So the filter is located back there, easy to get to. And it's also great that, uh, you know, all Rockwoods have the full filter system on the, all the water lines. So something we really love. Propane electric water heater. Um, so obviously, if you're at the campground, have it on electric, use their power. Uh, which very liable to be boondocking in this thing since it's yep. so off grid almost. Yep, you've got the high profile tires. You've got propane that you can run it while you're out there to keep your water warm. Now, Ralph, who we? I still haven't remembered the word for this. Griddle. A griddle. Yep. Yeah, it's, this is your griddle table right here for preparing any type of food you may have. Um, and it also has a quick connect. And, Ralph, under here is where you'll plug that in. That little yellow thing right there is where you plug your uh, griddle into. Now, Ralph, get, get a picture of them rims right here and them all-terrain tires now. Them things right there are something else. They look really good, sleek look. Um, Ralph, do we have the appropriate door on this one? Ooh. I don't know, man. I don't know. But it does have keyless entry. Ooh, yeah. You're right. So you can program this, whatever code you may have. Program it in there, and then you can uh, unlock the door that way. But also, like I said, the key to like on everything is even for this door. So one key does everything. And then these steps are going to fold right up into the door, Ralph. Awesome. And then, you know, one thing I've really enjoyed in I'm, the last little I'm gonna bit. I'm going to point out the spare tire underneath. Oh, it is a spare tire under there. You're Sorry about that. No, you're good. It's just the how easy the adjustment is now on the steps as opposed to the old pins. So let's push this in. And as you see, it just adjusts up now and it pops right in. So easy peasy. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Complimentary screen door. Well, that's been the uh, Ben section of the video. Oh, wow. So I guess Ralph, I guess I'm going to uh, take the camera and you can go inside. All right. Oh, 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 Ooh, don't, yeah. don't, don't drop it, Ben. Yeah. Ben almost dropped it. We're, well, we're rusty, Ralph. It's yeah, been a little are. bit. So I'm going to start turning on the lights while right here. I didn't stretch my fingers, so I'm going to do it real quick. Please, so, Ralph. Boom, 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 boom. And then there's the LED light out here. I'm coming in, Ralph. Slowly but surely, just kind of scanning it. All right, folks, we're going to start over here in the living room. 
We have a Murphy's bed and a, a recliner. So you got your social distancing couch. So you can have your cup holder here. You got your side and my side. Nice thing about this thing, you also have. Say it ain't so. Yes, sir. Recliners. Now, I wish you could go back, but I guess you could lean back. Well, I mean, you now, know. Now, what's nice about this bed is it turns into. Well, the couch turns into a bed. Bed if you need it. Yep. Or. Never put your fingers in that crack right there. Oh, yeah. it hurts. Bed if you need it. And then, what's nice, you've got the nice view. Oh, here. yeah. So back here, you have a charger here. you got USB ports here. Two more chargers here. Nice storage there as well. Don't feel claustrophobic when you wake up. So that way, you got all this room as well. And put this back and you just pull the little plunger like playing pinball for those who know what that is <laughs> and lock it back into place pop this back up now what's nice is you yeah, have storage here you can access from the outside or inside and we're gonna move our way over here to the kitchen so this is probably some sort of access to plumbing because it has hinges on both sides correct and look at that nice little now, 12 volt fridge refrigerator freezer and that will run off the solar panel and the inverter yep. even if you're not plugged up right correct all right uh, with, with multiple batteries this will pretty much run uh on sunny days indefinitely from what i understand indefinitely uh so this right here turns into a bed i can do a quick little visual for you you pop it out of its pedestal here pop it in between the two and you make a little bed. This goes down, by the mm. way. You don't have to sleep with a big hump. Now, one thing I like about this, and I'm gonna point this out, a lot of manufacturers just put glue here with their Velcro strips. So, Rock would take the extra step and put screws in their Velcro. I know that sounds funny. No, it doesn't, uh, man. Let me see it. Well, it makes sense because if you're just using the sticky on the back of the Velcro, it'll live, it'll peel off. Yep, it does on a lot of manufacturers. Now, go take a look at this. Look at these hinges. Look at these cabinets. Ooh, it's the residential like style uh -huh. hinges. That comes with a tire monitoring system. The construction on the inside is this is one solid piece of wood all the way across. And it's and a five eighths plywood. Yep, solid as can be. Solid. Now, 12 volt TV with a built in DVD player. So for technically that should come on right now, right? Uh, yes, sir. There it goes. That's it. Power button. Yep. There you go. So, yep. Okay. And we are not plugged into anything but a 12 volt. Right. AM, FM, uh, Bluetooth radio. Uh, speakers on the outside. Over here is your Go Power um, inverter and your Wi Fi Ranger, uh, which helps find free Wi Fi signals and so forth. Uh, thermostat control for both heat and cool. Mm -mm, mm -mm, just heat. furnace. Oh, just furnace. Oh. My bad. Because we have a roof-mounted AC, and the controls for it is on the air condition. It got me, folks. It did, Ralph. So you're not cook on these. Uh, we have had people do that. This yeah. is just to help give you a flat uh, preparation surface. Well, you don't lose any counter space. Correct. Now, this is neat. This is a convection tiny convection microwave, microwave oven. Now, that does not work off a of 12 volt, folks. It does not. And in case you need to pop open some sort of bottle, Coke. Uh, soda. Oh, man, Cola, yeah. Beer. And then more storage here with a complimentary. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Now, stainless steel sink. It's got the little drip dry station yep. there. I always travel with these upside down so if the water ever comes on, it drains. And then you have your little uh, charging station here and as well as your plug-in station for um, your blender, mixer, coffee pot, whatever, electric skill. Ton tons of different uses. Oh, yeah, man. Tons. Uh, Hood vent with light, more storage here, uh, and I'm going to even point out some little obviouses here. Got a shelf here if you wanted to use it. You got your uh, heavy duty blinds, and now uh, what's nice is porcelain toilet, good size, right? Looks like you got some. Phone. Yeah, yeah. Uh, now max air vent with cover. Why is that important? Just in case you need to live this open and it's raining. You can open this up, and the max air vent cover keeps rain from coming well, also, in. Also, Ralph, it's super handy for Taco Tuesdays. That is true, Ben. All right, folks, look at all this storage in the wall of the bathroom. Yeah, nice. nice little sink here. Area. Put a little trash can or a cleaner. 
medicine cabinet. You can access all this while on the toilet. It's very, very, very useful, lad. Now, very useful. Ralph, you're how tall? Six foot three with the attitude six seven. Eh, you're a little tight. Yeah, but, but know, I mean, 6'3", I mean, I would say you're, you know, probably in a 75 percentile as height goes. Yeah, but, you know. Uh, you want to see what a six-foot guy look like in there? In just a second. Okay. okay. So, uh, what I was going to say is, for such a tiny camper, you have a massive amount of space. So, you have to give him some areas. And, you know, this isn't bad. You know, you still got elbow room. Yeah. So, I'm going to move out of the way. Ben is a little shorter than myself. I'm five eleven and three quarters eternally hexed under six foot. So, um, but I still got some room in here, you know. I mean, I probably could do some little jazzercise or something if I had to singing. I could definitely sing in the shower. Yep. But yeah, I got some room in here, man. So, like I said, I mean, they, you know, if you're out weekend or whatever in this, then you're gonna freaking definitely be able to use the restroom here and shower, whatever your needs are. I mean, for the most part, it's about being outside. Yep. Right? Even though it's so nice in here. Right, right. Yeah. Ralph, uh, you want to spin it around and wrap her up? Yeah, let's spin it around and wrap it up. I guess uh, time for a cut scene. Cut scene. We haven't done one of those in a while. Cut it. Well, hey, guys. We're back to wrap this little 2022 Geo Pro 19 FDS video up. So real quick, I'd like to point out, folks, if you like this video and you like how we do our videos, please hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification button and hit the like button. Mm -hmm. And if you don't like it, feel free to leave a comment yeah. down below. We are like open it. to yeah. suggestions as so. to how we can make these more useful, entertaining, uh, kind of just, you know. And, and uh, to the person who says he didn't like our video because he thought we were trying to be comedians, trust me, we're not trying to be comedians. We are comedians. Uh, that don't get paid for yeah. being comedy. The world is my stage. Yep. No. <laughs> And, and every comedian is a starving comedian, right? That's right. So, Ben. Hey, guys. Uh, I think until next time we meet, which will be very soon, he's been Ralph. And that's been Ben. And if you need to get a hold of us. Ralph's number is. 601-497-7315. And Ben's number is. 601-750-7672. And when you come in, make sure you ask for the RV men. Yeah, Ralph and Ben. You got to ask by his board name. And you got to come to Jackson, Mississippi. It's a short drive or flight from wherever you're at. Right. It's worth the travel. Hey, yeah. So until next time, folks. See you later. Bye. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. You're good. We're, we're rusty. Yeah.